So Tita Nora, we've taken into consideration everything you've said, all that we've seen, and lots of research <laughs> over dinner. <laughs> we were Googling, just doing lots of research. And of course, the research we've already done for the past month, I've been watching YouTube videos on this particular bird for so long. And we finally made a decision. Okay, thank okay? you. So, Mobile Squad, I'd like you to meet our brand new mascot. Boy Squad, we're getting an African Grey. Oh, you, you're sure about this, right, RJ? Yeah. It feels good, and you're sure. Yep. I mean, I've fantasized about raising and living with an African Grey for so long. Yeah, this one's cute too and makulit, but, but noisy later in life. Which is okay if I move into a house. Maybe next time. Maybe this will be our first of many parrots. Who knows? Hi, guys. Oh, they're so adorable. So these two are young Congo African Greys. They're super intelligent, extremely good talkers. I mean, but that's not why I'm buying them. I'm buying them because I feel they're very suited to my lifestyle. They are not as crazy makulit and like energetic nonstop as say a conure. This one's coming yeah. to us. Maybe. This one doesn't want. Maybe this one then. I guess that means you're the new Mabuhay Squad mascot. Oh man, you are so cute. Yes, we're gonna show you an awesome life. This one is noisy. Yeah, this, one, this one's cute too, but... Maybe next time, when Mikey has a house. Okay? Next time, yeah. But you, yes, you. This is gonna be the start of an awesome journey. So it's young and we have to hand feed it. And this was about the age that I bought Malaya last year, who wasn't a parrot, but she was um, a crested mina. But like, see, like the the wing feathers haven't fully grown in. She, this bird has a lot of plumage still to grow, and she's young enough to be able to be fed a few times a day. If we got her younger, we would have had to feed her every two hours, which is very intense. Yeah, she hasn't eaten yet. This one. Oh, okay, so we can feed her. Oh, this is perfect. She's gonna teach us how to feed. Awesome. You're gonna eat. All right. Tita Nora, will it be easy to, to train? Easy? Very intelligent. That bird. African grey. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, so what was your name again? Frena. Frena is preparing the formula. Now, when we were raising Malaya, she was completely insectivorous, right? We fed her like, we feed her roaches and superworms. But because these are parrots, it's an actual formula. Wow, it's a powder. Okay. It starts as a powder. Anong brand? Supreme? Supreme. Yeah, Supreme is one of the popular brands, I guess. Hand feeding formula. Wow. All right, Supreme. Okay, and then you mix it here and it's got to be the right temperature. Look, she's even using a thermometer to make sure it's the right temperature. 42 degrees Celsius the food should be at. Oh man, so specific. And then what is this? Hot water. Oh, hot water. Okay. Ah, do you see what's going on here? Yeah. This is hot water and ow. Oh, adding it slowly till it's 42 degrees. Oh my, so complex. Oh, there he is. Oh, this is a female, guys, like Malaya. You're so beautiful. Okay, let's go feed. Let's go feed her. <gasps> OMG. Oh, she's beautiful. We're showing Tita Nora videos of Malaya. See? Our free flight crested mina. Oh, like that? That's it? And then you wipe. Oh, it's like feeding a baby. Oh, wow. Oh my, can I try? Okay, so um, I have to hold the head like this and then just feed slowly. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of when I used to do this for um, when I was a kid. I raised a pair of starlings this way. You gotta wash it. Oh, keep it warm. You have to keep it warm. Because when when the parents feed the, the parrots, it comes directly from their crop, right? And what is it? Like pre-digested food? Oh, okay. So this is basically like parrot barf. <laughs> Parent parrot barf. So it's gotta be warm. Mm. 
Hiya. Yes. Hiya. Yes. You are so cute. Guys, leave your name suggestions in the comment section for our new mascot. Isn't she adorable? Isn't she just adorable? Yeah. I'll give you some more. Yep. There you go. Wow, she's gonna take one more of these. 30 ml. 30 ml. It's 30 ml per meal. You need a lot. Is that wolf? Oh, more. Wow. Matakao. Keep it warm. You gotta make the nozzle warm. Wow. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. You are so hungry. Mm hmm. Swallow. Don't be like me. Don't stuff your face without swallowing. Mm hmm. All right. Got all the nutrients you need. Now we have to feed this bird three times a day. You eat three times a day? Yeah. We're gonna take this bird around. I want. I have plans to socialize this bird. Remember last year with Malaya? She was so socialized. She was the best human bird. She's hungry. Very matakao. Very hungry. Malaya was the best trained bird like around people. I hope for this African way to also be well socialized. You're gonna be a life companion, hopefully. Beautiful, you're so beautiful. Almost. There! Yay! Yay! Oh, and then, oh, there's more. What Water. is that? Water? Oh, cleaning the mouth. Oh, it's like brushing their teeth. They, you use the hot water to like clean the inside of their beak. Oh, wow. Just the under the tongue. Oh, okay, wow. This is, oh, I think this bird's gonna poo. I recognize the tail wag. Yup, it's gonna poo. Go poo. See, look, young birds have this sort of like wobble when they're gonna poo. I hope to also partially potty train you. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to be there when this bird has its first flight. <gasps> It'll be free flying like Malaya, remember that? Yes. Good girl. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Are you excited? This bird eats apples. Okay, so here's a list of things that it's allowed to eat and at what times we should be feeding. And well, well, this is the, the hand feeding schedule. Three times a day, three syringes, 7 a.m., 12.30 p.m., and 8 p.m. Wow, we need to teach this also to Elsie. Oh, you eat salad? You are such a healthy bird. Yeah. See, this bird agrees. This, she, she's saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that gaze. That gaze of like a young bird who is learning like a sponge. Yes. I already know you're gonna be a talker. I'm gonna teach you all of the Mabuhay Squad sayings, okay? Like, wow, wow, wow. OMG. And, you know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying? All of those. You're gonna learn them, okay? Yeah, see? The bird agrees. Wow. You're not allowed in my ant room. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. What a magnificent creature, right, Mabuhay Squad? I'm just. In awe. I am in awe at you right now. Seriously. Seriously. It's amazing. You're amazing. And you're probably sleepy too, right? I know. So, I heard petting on the back is not something that these parrots are used to. You just kind of have to get them used to it. But this is the age to like get them used to that kind of handling. Petting on the back also causes parrots to go into like hypersexual mode. I don't know what that means. I, I do look forward to rearing this miracle of a creature. <gasps> yes. You are actually my very first parrot. I've had almost every creature under the sun except for a parrot. Yeah. Right? Yes. I know. I know. Yeah. Mmm, and you smell good. <laughs> All right, you ready to come home? This bird has been making eye contact with me non-stop. Like, I could tell this bird has been like biologically looking for a parent to imprint on. You know, just like Malaya last year. And this bird was completely captive bred, not wild caught, all papers intact, perfectly legal to keep, unlike Malaya last year. And Maboy Squad, I can't wait to find out what you guys want to name her. 
So leave your name suggestions in the comments, as I said before. And uh, I'll choose my top five favorites, and then we can all vote. Apparently, Coco Martin got his parrot from you too, right? Yeah. Wow. All right. Oh my gosh. Going in this. <gasps> OMG. 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 All right. Look who settled in now in her new nest. Now you might recognize this nest design from when I raised Malaya. It's some paper towel. Uh, Tita Nora said not to use newspaper because she might ingest it and you know, she might choke, might cause impaction. So we're just using simple like paper towel. It's not very rippable. It's actually really tough. Okay, I just ripped it, but. <laughs> we have a towel here, see? Keep her warm. There's lots of space here for her to poo around. And uh, yeah, this is your new home now. Mm-hmm, yes. She's so tired, I bet. It's your bedtime. Okay, sleep, 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 sleep. Guys, she is so smart. I can already tell by the way she looks at me that this is one intelligent bird. Like she will make eye contact with me and like just look. And I can already see her thinking like, she, everything she takes in registers and she's learning like a sponge such an intelligent bird yes and she's really loving like all this interaction right now i know it makes these little little chirps yes 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 i'm sure you're hungry <laughs> just sleep 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 okay elsie good morning look wow you see it? Parot. Apo. Someone's hungry, I think. Of course. But you're not allowed to eat until one hour from now. How was your first night? Home. Hmm? Look at those wing feathers growing in, see? And there are even parts where the skin is like posed. See there? Yeah. She's like, what is this camera constantly in my face? Watch her bond with the camera. <laughs> Now guys, remember with Malaya last year, feeding time was like super critical. And like th at this age, they are growing so, so fast. So they are so hungry all the time. Luckily, her schedule now is like three times a day, which is great. Um, I think eventually she'll get down to two times a day feedings um, and then eventually feeding on her own, on like solids. This process is so cool. And based on my research that I've been doing is you kind of have to make them feel like this is a positive experience. If there's any kind of trauma that happens during this feeding experience, it's not good. And it's also a time when you react with your parrot. So like, gotta be nice, yo. Gotta have good memories. Mm -hmm. Now, because she's just come home, I'm not gonna overbear her right now with like stimuli. Like I'm not gonna go take her outside and all of this, but I'm just gonna get her used to my voice, my hand, my face, this camera, right? And the main people she should get used to seeing around. So myself, RJ, Ate Elsie, the sisters of RJ, Jane and Judith, uh, people like that. Mm-hmm, yes. And they're like children. Right now, they have to feel nurtured. You know what I mean? They need love. Yes, don't worry. I've got lots of love for you. And we have some food for you too. Mm-hmm, yes. Look at that beak though. Wow, what a living dinosaur. Yes, your ancestors were dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. Someone's hungry. Just a few more minutes. Mm-hmm. I think she's really liking this nest box. So um, during feeding, I'm not going to feed her in the nest box. I have to transport her to a feeding area. I guess in, do they call it parroting? <laughs> in parenting for parrots, it's customary to transport them to like a feeding area and not feed them in the nest. Um, and I guess it kind of like separates like playtime and nurturing time from like their actual feeding time where it's recommended you don't even play with them when they're feeding just so like they get down to business. And as you saw when we first fed her last night, the feeding response is very strong with these young birds. And I can't wait to feed you for the first time here in your new home. Mm -hmm. Here's the food. 30 ml. So... Pero 15 ml ng powder. Alright, so 15 ml. This here, is it 15 heaping scoop or leveled? Oh my goodness, this is home ec all over again. Okay, so 15 ml. 
Tapos, mainit na tubig. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, this looks tasty. So this is supposed to like represent the parents, essentially their barf. It's like a porridge of like nutritious goo that the parents, like, it's a like pre-digested goo that the parents um, produce in their crop and uh, feed to the babies. Oh, it's like a gruel. Yes. Now we have to make sure it's not too hot. Oh my gosh, are you parents out there? I'm, I feel like I'm feeding a human baby. So, ate, me isa na tubig na warm. Kasi dapat mainit yung tip. So, shh. Tapos, dip, wipe, and. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This looks delicious. Now, I remember having to prepare this when I was in high school, when I was raising a pair of starlings, as I mentioned before. Jam packed with all sorts of goodies and nutrients, vitamins. My starlings grew into such healthy birds on this parrot mix. All right, time to feed the new bird. Woo okay, time to eat. Oh my goodness, okay. That about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Because when they're swallowing, they... <gasps> so five seconds long. Yes. So guys, they hold their breath while they're swallowing during this feeding response. So to wipe your mouth, like I deposited for only five seconds so that she's not holding her breath the whole time. Ready? Next. Yeah. Good. Dip. Ready? Done. All right. One of three. Mm. Is that yummy? Did I do it right? You ready for your next round? Hmm? You good? Wipe, wipe, wipe. More. Yes. Eat, eat, eat. So you grow into a big bird. Mm-hmm. More. There we go. All right. Yes. All right. Last bit. Yep. It's yummy. More. Okay, okay, okay. Here. Done. Okay. Finish. Tapos ito. You dip like this. We gotta clean her tongue. Just the bottom of your tongue. Mm -hmm. Right there. And we're done. Now I just gotta return her to the nest and not play with her. Give her five minutes to register this entire experience. All right. This is the first time she's gonna hear me sing. I want her to be a musical bird. Possibly learn a few songs. So, bird with no name yet, I'd like to introduce you to one of the greatest artists of all time. Mm -hmm. Amazing. If you're going to learn the songs of an artist, it might as well be this artist. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready to learn the music of this artist? Don't be afraid of this camera, by the way. You're gonna grow up behind the camera. You're gonna be one of those parrot child stars. You ready? Look at how responsive she is. Like, <laughs> oh, you're ready, I think. No, not to eat. Later on. Mm -hmm. When you get caught in the rain With nowhere to run When you're distraught and in pain without anyone when you keep crying out to be safe is she singing with me and nobody comes and you feel so far away you just can't find your way home you can get there alone it's okay what you say i can make it through the rain i can stand up once again what are you doing burping oh my own and i know that i am strong enough to mend Every time I feel afraid I hold tighter to my faith And I live 
one more day and I'll make it through the rain. Mm hmm. And that is Mariah Carey. Mm. All right, Mabuhay squad. So she has spent the entire day, her first full day here at my place, and I am pleased to announce that she ate all her meals. I fed her for breakfast, Ate Elsie fed her for lunch, and RJ fed her for dinner. <laughs> and yeah, she's doing great. And guess what? Watching the vlogs puts her to sleep. You see, I just run the vlogs on the laptop and it puts her to sleep. So it's really cool. And you know, actually I find any kind of like noise or background noise um, really calms her. And I think it's because, well, you saw where she was raised, right? All those birds all around, you know, chir chirping and screaming and stuff. She's, that's what she was used to. So whenever there's like noise, I guess it comforts her. And I find the vlogs put her to sleep the fastest, which is amazing because I'm exposing her to all the sayings right away. You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Right? And OMG and wow, wow, wow. This bird is going to be able to talk. Look at her nest. Changed her bedding. Every day it changed her bedding. She's got two stuffed toys. Yes. See? And she's got a great appetite. Uh, and you know, it's, it's amazing too. She likes to walk. She's starting to exercise her legs more. Oh, and stretch her wings. Oh, oh you're awake. Sorry. And I've been singing to her all day and she just stares at me while I sing. She's been such a good girl. Mm hmm Ate Elsie loves her. Of course, RJ loves her. Go to sleep. Good night. Yes. Good morning. It seems she loves going to sleep to K-pop. <laughs> See? She likes K-pop. Guys, 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 guys. Major, major, major thing happening right now. Okay, first of all, the bird doing well. Day two. Mark's here. Everybody's here. Uh, employees from Global Strategic. Rose here. You won't believe what is happening now. The boy squad. Today, 